Well, today I've got another post bag for you. Um, we'll start with this one. It seems to have been stepped on by the postman a little bit there. Oh, I've forgotten a knife, hang on. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't even need a knife. This is uh, Super Pull 3000. Now, I don't really know what everything is. I know what some of them are, obviously. You know, sort of remember most of these, are they from the UK? There's a lot from the UK, so it hasn't been very long since I've ordered them. This one has nothing in but a piece of paper. I want to make sure it doesn't say my address. Does it say my address? No, it doesn't. Good. Uh, so it just says what it is, which is, uh, oh, there we go. A deep red LED with PCB. This is one of those one watt LEDs. Let's get it out of this thing. Oh, a little bit of advertising for them, Future Dean. And I bought this for a very good reason. I say very good reason. This is one of those times where it isn't really a very good reason. Uh, let's come out a little bit because it brightens it up a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, it'll have to sort of be in focus. Oh, actually I could manually, this might look terrible. Yeah, it does look terrible. That's a poor, mis poor um, bit of illumination there, but whatever. Uh, so it is a little one watt LED on a PCB, uh, a metalized PCB, so like a little uh, aluminium PCB, which should help cool the thing, hopefully have some uh, passive cooling on it. Now it's deep red, which is pretty cool. Should we test it out? I can get the power supply hooked up. Okay, bear with me. Right, so that's the power supply on. So uh, this is one watt LED. So we need to do one divided by five. Is that right? One divided by five equals 0 0.2. So that gives us the current that we can throw in there. So that's watts to milliamps essentially. Uh, let's bring this in and we'll throw positive there and negative over here. So I'm just going to limit my power supply initially to 50 milliamps ish. Ooh, it is deep red actually. Oops. Well, oh, it's just bad connection. Let's turn these off. See if it gets a bit of a deeper color. Oh, it's nice. Let's uh, throw it up to the old 200, 150. Oh shit, that, whoops, I went a bit too far there. <laughs> okay, so that's 150. It's fairly brim and bright. I see, let's see if it, yeah, so it glows through my hand. <laughs> so you can see how bright it is. Through my fingers. Oh, that is cool. All right, close your eyes, everyone. So this is going to be, hopefully I didn't burn it out by putting 250 milliamps in just then. Um, is it warm? Not yet, no, it's all right. Uh, this is gonna be potentially, I'm not entirely sure, the eye for the HAL 9000, which I wanna build. So that'll be fun. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Move on to something else. You can go in that little parts bin for now. Let's turn off the power supply because it does make a little bit of noise. So next up we have another one from the UK. This one I think is kind of boring. I think it might just be some, in fact, I'll save my thoughts about what it could be. Yeah, it is fairly boring. So um, the laptops that I got, one of them has a CMOS battery that is dead and I need to replace it. So. This is just to replace one of those. And it was quite a fair bit cheaper to buy two. Well, sort of, one was 99 pence and I think two was one pound 25. So I went with two. Um, links to anything important will be in the description, but links to batteries and things, I'm not gonna bother. And I think there might be another battery coming. Uh, what's next? Let's go with this one. It's still got my address on, so I'm not gonna turn it over. This is what? 
Okay, let's come in a little bit for this one. And I'll try and focus. It's not on autofocus today. So, what is this? Oh my gosh, oh, this is exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to swear because I swore earlier. So we've got a little microphone here. This is probably garbage. Um, and some DuPont cables, female to female ones. But this is the GTEC speech recognition module. This thing is pricey for a little module, but very, very cool. Let's see if we can oh, autofocus this time. Are you going to do it? Oh, come on, you can do it. There we go. So this is a little speech recognition module. I don't know what the IC is. It says spec, oh no, SPI 0618. So it's a custom chip, I imagine. Very cool. So this takes serial commands um, to uh, program the thing, I guess. So it listens to the speech and records it. So I guess it records like phenomes or whatever. Um, and then you're able to speak back to it and it will recognize your commands and send out something over the serial to say which command it detected. So hooking this up with a little Arduino or something, we'll be able to, well, any kind of microcontroller, even a Raspberry Pi is like a single board computer. We could use this as some kind of speech recognition probably a bit redundant with a Raspberry Pi, seeing as it can do speech recognition anyway. But this is a fun little add-on and something I think would work well on a HAL 9000 project so we can talk to the thing and have it respond. I'll see if I can get like a soundboard of like the HAL 9000 uh, little quotes and stuff. Anyway, that would be cool. I'll put a link to that one in the description because it's kind of interesting. What's next? Let's go here next. So what is this? Super capacitor. Okay, I told you I'd ordered some more of these things. So these are them. They're kind of big. Oh, we'll have to come up to the camera a little bit. Uh, it's gonna focus, I can feel it. There we go. So we've got 5.5 volts, four farad capacitors. So these should be pretty darn cool um, for some little solar projects that I fancy doing with little solar panels. And I'll just stick a little project in my window and see how I can make it run for. Um, maybe with an AT Tiny A5, I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll play with these. But if anyone's got any projects they've done, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to sort of feed off your experience. That would be great. So again, these weren't, these weren't very expensive. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Are you going to focus? There we go. These weren't very expensive. These were one pound something or other. I mean, it says here they were $2.98. That is how much they were, but I don't know how much that is in pounds. Um, next up, we've got, well, this one is going to be super boring, so we'll open it. It's not that big, actually. Let's come on. It isn't that big. Um, this is a little bit of an admin kind of thing. It is an HDMI cable. So, but it's um, it's a micro HDMI to HDMI. Now, the reason I had to pick this up is because HDMI cables are weak, or at least these micro ones are. So, if I bring this up and zoom in a wee bit, that is the micro HDMI, and it's just really, really weak. I was, this camera, this camera, <laughs> it has a micro HDMI out on it and it's what I can use to plug my camera into my computer. And so I attempted to do that for the MakerCast that sort of just went, but I snapped the blooming connector off and so I wasn't able to do it. Um, well, in actual fact, I couldn't quite figure out how to do it, but I realized later on I'd snapped off the connector honestly, without realizing this had bent and, and broken. So they are a little bit um, fragile. So I've had to pick up another one, but it was super cheap, like two quid or something delivered in the UK as well. So not expensive at all. Next up, here's another one from the UK, um, but I don't know what it is. And by the feel of it, I can't remember what I've ordered. 
Oh, okay, I do. From the feel of it, I should have realized. This is something quite cool. I've used these before. Um, I used one in my Toshiba 200 CDS sort of vintage laptop. This is a CF card. In fact, have I got one lying around? Yes, I do. This is a, a CF card, one of these little cards. Oh, it matches the, <laughs> matches the mat. It's one of these. You plug it in this way. Oh, upside down. You plug it in. Is it? Oh, don't tell me I've got it wrong. Maybe it is that way. Yeah, it's one of these to an IDE connector, a 40 pin IDE connector. Now what's good about that is because the vintage laptops I have all have IDE kept connectors and they do not have SATA connectors, which is what you get a lot of the time or SATA, however you meant to say that. The weird thing about this though is pin 19 on this should be cut. So on uh, these, they have a key on the IDE cables and it means in a vast majority of laptops and, and ports, you can't plug this in. So I'm gonna to have to find out which pin it is on here. I've already done it on my other one, uh, but that is currently embedded in a laptop. And we've also got a jumper here. So I think I will take out my other one and make sure that I've got the same orientation on here. We may do a little bit of a video on that. It was for the ThinkPad, um, but I don't know because currently it's running from that stupid hard drive and it's horribly loud and slow. And it also draws 500 milliamps. And so I'm hoping these won't draw so much. So it won't get so hot pulling in all that power. Anyway, that is what this is for. It's for uh, the, <laughs> which way around was it? Did I get it right the last time? It was. It is for the ThinkPad. Oh, come on now. Um, next up, we have one that's come to me, but has some damage here. So. This one, weirdly enough, got delivered to my work um, and it's handwritten. So I don't know what it is um, or who it's from, but they use two first class stamps for something that weighs a little bit more than it should, but not two first class stamps worth. They're like 50p these days. Anyway, let's um, get into it. I mean, I could just peel the, uh, the thing back, but we're cutting into it. Oh, there's a note. Hang on a minute. So do you all remember Ross Marks? Ross is the guy that came up with the challenge coin. Um, the thing that I haven't figured out yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> anyway, Ross says, hi, hope you're enjoying the Hoping you enjoy this little lazy Sunday project. Uh, build guide, docs, etc. Rossmarks.uk forward slash hardware. Keep doing the awesome stuff on YouTube. Well, thank you very much, Ross. Uh, and there is a little note on the back that says, P.S. I've pre programmed the AT Tiny 85. It better not be something I'm not going to understand, Ross. <laughs> so let's have a little look. So some things I think may have fallen out of here. I don't know, but it was wrapped up. So maybe nothing has. So we've got, oh, he does like his round things, doesn't he? Also, we've got components. Oh my Lord, Ross, what is this? Do you know what? I'm regretting the choice of this mat. Actually, let's swap the mat. There we go. Contrasts a little better with blue, doesn't it? So we've got, some components in here. There's an AT Tiny 85. What looks like a capacitor, but it's got four pins on either side. So it might be one of those LEDs. We won't do this today. Um, we've got a little, what feels like a potentiometer, but looks a bit like a rotary encoder, but there's no jump on it. So I'm going to go for it being a potentiometer. Um, a battery holder for a 2032 it looks like. That's a fairly pricey battery holder there. That it's, feels very good. It's better than the cheap ones I buy. And the circuit board itself. Do you know what I think that looks like? I think that looks like one of those, is it craps? Is that the thing with the spinning? No, that's the dice one. It looks a bit like a roulette wheel. That's what I think it looks a bit like. I don't know. wonder if it is. If you, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll pop these in this bag and then um, 
we'll come back to that on a lazy Sunday like uh, Ross has suggested. Well, thank you very much, Ross. That is unexpected and lovely. Thank you very much. I will continue to think about that coin. Right, what's next? We've gone through almost everything. There is only one thing remaining and it is this big bag. Um, it has a UK sticker on it, but I think it came from China. I don't know. Well, this, this little kind of label gives it away. We've got electronic DIY kits and the value of $15, which is a lot, isn't it? So let's get into it. I don't think I bought this. I think this was probably the last item on my wish list. You won't find anything on there at the moment and there isn't often anything on there. It's only when I see something and think that would make a great lazy Sunday, maybe someone would want to pick it up. And that's probably what this is. Oh, <laughs> I do know not, I do know not, do not know rather exactly what this is. But I remember there being a weird clock with LEDs, but I don't know how it worked. I just thought it looked cool. Oh my. Oh, I remember. It's got these weird glass jars. Do you know what? We're going to save this for another day. I won't get everything out, but we've got... Um, oh, look at that. Got a nice printed circuit board there. That is cool. Oh. So really nice printed circuit board. Huge printed circuit board. Oh, there we go. So alarm minutes, oh, that's the wrong way around. So we've got hours, minutes, and seconds. And oh look, white, red, green, blue. And temperature, I have no idea how this is gonna work. And there are no instructions. <laughs> but luckily there is oh, not enough information on here but we'll figure it out somehow. We're gonna to have to find the instructions, aren't we? Okay, well, that's gonna be an interesting one. Whew. Oh, and an acrylic sheet here, it looks like. So these are some glass dome things that you meant to put the LEDs. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Right, well, I hope you're enjoying this. I've moved the camera up so you can see a bit more of uh, everything that's going on on my bench. So this has been, another post bag. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't think there's anything else. Well, there, there are some more bits actually that I do want to show you at some point, but not at the moment because they're things I bought from China, like cheap tat, you know, um, it's from like little tourist shops and stuff. So I bought some things that I want to mess around with. So uh, if you fancy seeing a little video of what those are before I start doing projects with them, then do let me know and I'll wheel them out and show you. There's nothing spectacular, but there are a few bits that I picked up that I'd like to like dick around with. All right, um, I'll speak to you all soon.